So at first I chose Shibata Institute of Technology uh, just because it was the only one that could accept students that just speak English, that didn't speak uh, Japanese. Uh, I would say Japan is very welcoming to international students, especially in SIT. I feel very welcome here. Um, and Japan is very safe, one of the safest countries in the world, I would say. There are multiple courses in English you can take, which is very nice. And it's also regardless of your major, you can choose um, how many courses you want. So it's very cool. Japanese students that are really, really open to, to meet with the foreigners. I thought that it would be like half Japanese and half English, but then people who are teaching the English courses, even the professors, they're like fluent in English. So I'm sure something I was surprised by. It. Uh, so SIT has really competent, uh, willing to help, and also competent both staff and teachers. Also, all the classes that I'm taking here are really interesting and with updated content, so I'm learning a lot. Shibaura Institute of Technology was founded in 1927 as a University of Science and Technology by Dr. Shiro Arimoto, who believed in the importance of connecting society and academia. The university was founded to promote the founding spirit, nurture engineers who learn from society and contribute to society. This remains the fundamental of our education. In light of the ongoing globalization of society, we began full-fledged internationalization efforts about 20 years ago. In 2014, we were selected for the Top Global University Project, which is a program strongly supported by Japanese government for the globalization of universities. And this will further accelerate our internationalization. We are working hard to become the most globally open science and engineering university in Japan by 2027, before our 100th anniversary of founding. The SIT has a high level of research capability while covering most of the fields of science and engineering. Mechanical, material, chemistry, biotechnology, electrical, electronic, computer science, architecture, civil engineering, and design engineering. So regardless of the field of your interest, we can accommodate most of you if you are interested in engineering and science. We prepare many types of programs, global PBL, course taking, laboratory internship, and research exchange. The duration are flexible from about two weeks to more than one year. All the departments in SIT are ready to accept your application. You must find a program that suits you here in SIT. One of our unique initiatives for accepting international students is the Innovative Global Programs, IGP. IGP is an English-based undergraduate degree program. In this program, students can study basic and specialized subjects while engaging in cutting-edge research under the supervision of faculty members from freshman year to graduation. Not just undergrad degree program, but all graduate programs are offered in English. In addition, non-degree internal students are also accepted. We offer a semester-based course-taking program and laboratory-based research program for non-degree international students. SIT has two campuses. Toyosu and Omiya. The Omiya campus is located about one hour from central Tokyo and surrounded by full of greenery. It is often called the Green Campus. The other is the Toyosu campus, located near Tokyo Bay in central Tokyo. A new school building was constructed in 2022 and the Bay Area Open Innovation Center will be established. There, we will promote joint research with companies and nurture startup companies. As a support for international students, we have Global Learning Commons, GLC. GLC is an open space where Japanese students and international students can interact with each other. We have a staff of Japanese and foreign students in order to help international students who have trouble living in Japan.
My job as a staff member is to handle inquiries from international students and plan events that encourage interaction between Japanese and international students. The most important thing is to be attentive to the feeling of others. I try to respond to the question from the international students by thinking about what they are struggling with and what I can do to help them the best I can. They are always willing to help. I think I use GLC at least twice a week. I go there uh, j just to uh, ask simple questions and uh, ask for help with uh, maybe mailing in Japanese and always receive me there smiling. Uh, I feel really wel welcomed here. So they are always very nice and welcoming and friendly and always when I needed help with something they always helped me and yeah. So I think it's very nice to have the GRC here at the campus. One of the characteristics of SIT is that it is a global university that emphasizes practical learning. This is evidenced by the fact that Dr. Leona Esaki, a Nobel Prize winner in physics, was the president of the university. University education is not carried out only within the university. Therefore, we are leading the GTI consortium. GTI stands for Global Technology and Initiatives. In this consortium, not only universities, but companies and governments are in collaboration to nurture science and engineering professionals who can play an active role internationally. And through this collaboration, foster the soil for innovation creation. Our university offers a number of courses that embody its founding spirit of developing engineers who learn from and contribute to society. For example, companies and local authorities attend classes and students work together to solve problems they face. In one such case study, where the depopulated local authority shared its local problems with the students and made an attractive proposal to revitalize the area in front of the train station. The sustainability of the business was assessed from both an environmental and economic perspective based on the data analysis, and the proposal was visualized using architectural tools. In this way, the emphasis is on learning the whole process of implementing proposals in society, developing professional skills inside the classroom, and listening to the voice of society outside the classroom. Global BBL is an international version of project-based learning. It is a kind of collaborative projects with overseas institutions such as foreign partner universities or companies. Students are supposed to tackle project themes such as real-life problems and country or region-specific issues, which are given by academic supervisors or industrial mentors. By participating in the global PBL program, making overseas friends and understanding their cultures, students will acquire practical global communication skills and develop the ability to be successful in culturally diverse workplaces. Sometimes, people from manufacturing companies also join the global PBL program so that we can address the practical issues that those companies now face. The first global PBL can make me can can help me to make the connection with another student who come from a different country. So the connection can help me in the future for in my research. In global GPBL, the participants uh, different background, so uh, I can use that knowledge to develop my skill. The discussion was done in English among teammates from various backgrounds, which gave us not only the English-speaking skills, but also practical experience in problem solving. I also made some close friends from overseas through the workshop, which was a great privilege. Global PBL is a unique experience that benefits students' personal development 
and allowed them to gain global perspectives by working with students from different countries. In fact, after the program, students will be able to envision working abroad after graduation and gain confidence in communicating with people from other countries. Like, they sh I feel like they really shouldn't see language as a barrier to come to a country like Japan. And um, as of like the programs and like the classes itself, I it's it's very high quality and it's also up to date is what is my opinion. So I feel like it is. I would like to welcome more students and for more students to know about the university in general. Yeah. I mean, to everyone who's not sure about taking a semester abroad, I would say just do it because it is a once-in-a-lifetime experience and probably one you will never forget. So you get to know so many new, cool, nice people and also learn so much for your whole life, I think, for me. In the future society, manufacturing and production will be done in the borderless environment. Zero, it is essential for engineers to acquire an international mindset. We provide an opportunities and learning environment to support this to prospective international students. Japan has its own culture and technology. Please come to Japan and experience them yourselves. I also wish you to share your cultures and technologies with your friends in Japan. I believe the fusion of these cultures and technologies will lead to the creation of innovation. Come to Shibaura Institute of Technology. Learn together. Think together.